Alright guys, here we are on the right wing tip. I already did a video once on how I attach those wing tips using this hinge method. Today I am working on trying to solve the issue of uh, the interference we're getting on the uh, video from when I have my strobes on, which are LED strobes, and when my landing lights are in the wigwag position, which means they alternate on and off, left and right, given kind of a a left and right flashing motion that uh, you can see quite a way. So here's my two sets of cables coming out of my wing tip here, or in out of my wing into the wing tip. One is set uh, the nav strobe, that's right there. That's these here, and then this one's my landing taxi light. And so these were shielded. Uh, the strobe ones needed to be shielded. Uh, the landing taxi lights didn't. So what I'm trying, and you may see here, is to use a couple of these ferrite ring cores, which these are something you may see on power cables, like for computers, stuff like that. But uh, let me see if I can pull one open here. So I bought a bag of them, a bunch of different sizes. Um, yeah, and there is the ferrite core in the middle of it, it's metal. And the idea is that as electricity is going through the wires to the strobe, off and on, it's creating a magnetic field. These are supposed to stop that field. And that field apparently is one of the causes of radio interference uh, that we may be hearing through the video. So I thought it was worth a shot. These were only like $10 for this bag of 100 um, different sizes. So I put one on uh, the nav strobe and one on the um, landing taxi light right here and then I did uh, some lacing cord to keep them from sliding down as they were a little loose and I did a lacing cord all the way around both of them so that they wouldn't accidentally open but they seem to be pretty secure so it's worth a shot to try them out to see if um, I can solve the issue of that radio interference I'm going to do the uh, same thing on the left wing and then I may do the same thing on these same cables as they enter into the wing root down there because I'll have access in there as well and see if we can try to eliminate or reduce the amount of interference I'm having. Uh, so yeah, all right, well that's it. I'll let you know, we'll do a test flight and uh, we'll report back on it.